I am done reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So I read this in February and I enjoyed this a lot. I thought this was a, a great follow-up, a great step up from the Sorcerer's Stone. The characters stood out even more in this book. I enjoyed the adventure of it. I felt this book was a lot more adult. It's weird because at the ending of the Sorcerer's Stone, that reveal is very like, that's weird. And it's very like an adult idea. But this felt even more weird and adult, like with all those big spiders and it's just I love it I loved it it just felt a little bit more grown up and so much of what happened like people's arms like breaking in ways and stuff like that because I've seen the movies before I kind of think I forgot some of the Chamber of Secrets and as I read it I was kind of remembering scenes from the movies which is kind of annoying although I haven't seen the movies in years it's still kind of like oh I wish I hadn't seen it so now I could I wish I could have just pictured it the way I would have if I had just read the book instead of through the lens of the movie Movies. It shows how much the Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets both stuck very closely to the books because I don't feel like there was a lot that changed. It pretty much like stayed with the same plot. Like I was very invested. I was like going through this book like just enjoying every minute of it. And in reading these, I would love to actually reread them. Like just do another reread of them because I get now I'm like getting why people would reread these books because it's great living in this world. I love being a part of the magic world, the magical world. It's so captivating, it's interesting. It's, and the writing, J.K. Rowling's writing. Oh, she, she gets to the point as far as I'm concerned. Like, she gets from here to there to there. I do know I've heard comments about her sometimes doing more telling than showing within the books and I, I didn't really have that issue with the showing and telling. I felt like she showed what she needed to show and she told what needs to be told because some of the stuff that she was telling I was kind of like I wouldn't necessarily want a scene of her kind of like showing me all of this moment by moment bit, bit by bit because then I felt like I would be like uh, can we get to like the main mystery and the points and everything else like and I do think I actually enjoyed this more than I enjoyed the Sorcerer's Stone because I think as much as Hagrid's moment with the dragon was consequential to the story it also kind of felt a little draggy compared to like here where everything kind of like mattered, mattered, mattered and kept going, going, going. I don't think I have any upsets. I can't say I had any favorite characters. Still, again, I think J.K. Rowling has great writing. I know she's a problematic girl, but the, the woman can write. She has great a, a great way with words, you know. I, I, I do think at times in her writing, she could be a little bit more descriptive, expand a little bit more on some of the characters' descriptions so that they are more clear. My only issue that I've, I've, I've really had is that the whole Hermione is black. I'm still very, very, like, iffy about that because... I think in the first book, we just had that one description of Hermione, like her hair is just like wild. Is it wild? It's kind of like frizzy, bushy kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know how to process that entire description because her skin color is not really talked about. And there aren't any major identifiers besides her hair and her teeth. And they were like kind of buffed. And I was just like, I don't know. I don't know how to process it. In this book, we got a little bit more because Hermione's mentioned to blush and she blushed magenta and I was kind of like weird about the magenta blushing thing because then I'm like is is she blushing magenta because she's black or the fact that she's blushing does that mean she's not really black and she's white I get that magenta is like a dark purple she's accustomed to like white girls blushing so it kind of blushes like a little rosy pink or whatever so black girl would blush and it would be like darker but I just felt like mm. Black, black people don't really show blushing. Like, this is like just in this very, very like physical body manifestation kind of thing. Like, we don't really show what it means. Like, we don't really, like, like I don't really feel like that's a thing. I feel like that's a thing that if you have fairer skin, you, you're seen. I don't know. I'm just at the point where I'm not really sure that Kamani's black, although J.K. Rowling says that because the canon, girl, I don't know where the canon said it. We already know the movies don't show that. I'm with everybody else who said it before. You might as well have not said that Hermione was black. I get it. You wanted Hermione to be black for this play. Fine. And you know, I'm not against like having Hermione be black. My issue is just that like we needed that to be like in the book canon because there's not enough description of Hermione. And then when you describe her, it's like, 
very white esque, white centric. I don't know, but I feel like there were like there were moments in this book, especially the part where she's like Hermione blushed magenta, and I was just kind of like, girl, no. But overall, I enjoyed the book. I had a good time reading it. I am looking forward to reading Prisoner of Azkaban. I heard it's supposed to be very, very good. It's supposed to be very, very entertaining. I think I did enjoy that movie because at that time they had transitioned from Chris Columbus to another director. In the Prisoner of Azkaban movie, I felt like a lot of the concepts and the visuals and a whole lot of stuff that went into that movie almost kind of stepped it up and got even more mature and more grown up and just more, I don't know, sophisticated. And not to say the first two books weren't, but it just, they still felt like kids movies. It seems like Prisoner of Azkaban is supposed to be a little bit more mature, a little, just a little bit more kick-ass, so I'm looking forward to that. Anything in this video resonates with you, leave a comment, put a timestamp. Either way, I like them both. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I appreciate it. And I am out this bitch like Fleek the fuck.